if the result, if that makes sense. We play Morrowind and my quest is to um, deliver Terana a skirt to, the, to her. It's a basic chore for Tylvania. So we are also going to double down on this quest and join Fighters Guild and make early quest for Spear. I like doing multiple quests at once because that's efficient and that's kind of my style of playing. First thing first, we basically need to fucking leave this place. Let's hear. If you wanna be super optimal, you can technically use uh, amulet that teleport you outside, but you need to remember which one is it and where you are. It's kind of hard. It's a lot of easier to basically just you know, go manually, it's kind of like what he will be doing most of the time, so expecting to have spells is kind of like it's less less good options because uh, it's not something you default to. We're going across the shore because it's faster. And we're going to take a ship to Tel Brenora or somewhere like this. Because this is where this fucking uh, lady, the Levine clan, lives. We just do it for promotion and because it's fun and it will unlock you a later quest for the Greek armor. You can do it very early. My time is precious, so make it quick. Yeah. So this is the location where we have to go fight for fighters. But before that, we're going to give the skirt where it needs to. This quest is uh, easy uh, FedEx, but you can die in one shot here. It's rather uh, rather problematic, but we're going to manage everything. But it's important to note that I played the game before. Houses. If you don't have levitation, you don't have to have levitation for a lot of Telvani towers and quests. I believe a lot of like uh, playtests were made around acrobatics in this game. Because you can do a lot with acrobatics. Okay, here Reasonable we set up safe for quality, a trick opinion. called uh, relocation. And to pull up keyboard on uh, mobile, you need to have uh, saving when first, otherwise you can't do it. Relog save. And we're going to chamber. It's important to use left door from the stairs, because it doesn't work on right. So you basically have to climb the tube and uh, wear her skirt and hope she will navigate to you. you yes, because she's trying to kill you. You can make her fall and take damage, but Masera. yeah, she landed on me and was safe. So we take off this to not provoke her any further. And I just decided to go back to show people what the fuck is with this. So this is like uh, Lady Terana. She has dimension in a very weird form. It's like, like kind of autistic dimension, I'm not sure. I'm not mental health specialist. I hope nobody goes to my Morrowind video for this. And yeah, when you uh, ask her about her non new clothes, so she proposes you to wear them. I have screenshot. It's, in, it's uh, mobile. Wealth beyond me. Yeah, so we're going out of this place. Because this is it for quest. You have to deliver quest and skidatu. We did ski double part and we basically. Here I wanted to save because I, I like saving after you know after I do something uh, right and that was pretty pretty smooth. I made it looks kind of easy. Yeah, here we're going to need to have permanent map assistance because these islands are like nightmare to navigate without map. 
and this is very hard jump. We have 220 speed, which is the speed above 20 from my comfortable 240, so I barely was able to do it without taking damage. If you land on the land, you take damage, probably die. Uh, so we try to land on the water. Yeah, navigation is a big part of Morrowind, and uh, it is what we will be doing for the most part. I have no idea how people play with hot boots of blinding speed. I personally need this. As for diving, uh, when you have like a diving swim from jump, you maintain some of the momentum from jump uh, versus, for example, getting back to the shore. Sometimes also diving let you lose uh, leaf racers. Most of the times it attracts more fishes to you, so it's kind of double, uh, you know, uh, some, some pros and cons to use it. But yeah, mostly momentum preservation if you jump the water. If you just enter to the water, it's better to stay on the surface. These are loadings, they are kind of part of Morrowind because you technically render out map at once. Sometimes you just need to load. They they last less than like zero second, but they are not zero sadly for me. It's because mobile platforms are slightly weaker than they should be. Uh, if we want mobile uh, dominance in the gaming market, and therefore we sometimes have to compromise. You know, we don't want. PC gamers to feel as uh, that bad just because they use inferior platform. <laughs> uh. yeah, so this is the dungeon where we have to assist lady. monsters to her and she will murder them anyway so it's not a big deal yeah I invite her to party and just to have her you know protection. I'm at level 2, I have nothing, I'm like naked, I have legion armor that they give me, and otherwise I don't have any armor bag. So I'm literally naked. My only preparation is a bone spear spell. Sadly I sell iron spell before entering. And this is sadly the problem. You see, my spell has 50% chance to be casted, 49 specifically. Let's see, first time didn't work, second time didn't work, third time didn't work, 12% chance to do this, 6% chance for this, oh, 3% chance, oh, 1% chance, oh, full half percent, yeah, 0.25%. Oh yes, 0 0.12, 0 0.06, 0 0.03, and I died. Uh, uh, I uh, absolutely have 50 fucking percent chance. Look, this is 49, these are my chances to, to cast spell. And this will go to 50 because my fatigue regenerate when I don't move. However, for this fucking game, this is not good enough. Now, absolutely first try, 50% chance. The odds for not fucking casting this spell were, were so fucking extremely low that I dare to say I didn't make any fucking mistake. 
because to you know fail spell uh, like 12 times in a row is like insane here i'm trying to do any basic fucking swinging this gives me spear xp and spear xp give me endurance there is not much you can improve in this case like she mostly decimate everything alone Excluding final boss, uh, with final boss you need to help. I mean, she can sometimes solo him, but most of the times, no. I am born under Atronach side, which means 50% spell casted at me are uh, absorbed. This is extremely powerful ability. It has like almost no downsides. Here is the trick. This is trapped, which means spell is protecting it. You can absorb this spell to restore mana. But what is more important, you don't have to disarm. Normally you can use props to disarm. In my case I just loot. I always check value of the item and then determine if I take it or not. Uh, because Dwerven items are extremely heavy. It's not easy to decide. That was 500 or so it was kind of no-brainer. This is glass, rare. Not extremely rare, but... Something. 50% chance. And... Now I'm trying to do the door play, which basically is took the monster inside the door and allow you to have free hits on him. Sadly didn't really work for me. But she decimated him so fast that it wasn't really matter. Now, the reason why we came here, uh, in this dungeon there is a Turok. It's one of my favorite spears in the game. It's, uh, I, I will show you comparison to my, this summoned spear, this is Dedrick. Uh, there is absolutely nothing that fucking uh, goes uh, better than this, but the Turok uh, have similar bonus to hit, let you see slightly better, thanks to night vision, and it's permanent. Plus have minimal damage, same as Dedrick, which is also relevant, but not as important. Another saving this time. Honestly, this I will fucking skip ahead in my uh, in my video edits. Yeah, we simply absorb the trap. Well, we take whatever we want. Leave. That's it. As for heavy armor you collect here, it's not an urge to fucking dress you. If you want heavy armor, in my opinion, you should buy it. At least at first. The light armor is easier to get, you just kill assassin from fucking DLC. Mm -hmm. And the final fight. Here situation is kind of easy. You just need to not die. So he casts a very powerful poison spell. If you would not absorb two, 25% chance by the way, for two consecutive, you will die. And she would also die if she would take it, so it's better to make him at aim at you and at least hope he will not hit you directly with it or if you if he hit at least he will not uh, he will absorb now the stupid combat shit we just need to distract him slightly do basic shit to disallow him from pummeling her to death And this is it. Realm These are two questions at once. Yet somehow I feel uneasy. I 
must investigate these ruins. You can also further. use her for healing, but you really will absorb a lot. This is all cranoing the uh, healing. Uh, for a tronach from companions. Lucky you don't have companions well, in Morrowind, so what is it? It's not notorious issue, it's just problem. Yeah, imagine this in later games if you have the dedicated healer. Yeah, I decided to basically double team with her. Because what holy shit she's terrible. Well hello there, a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. This is basic plundering, I'm just checking my carry weight because I don't wanna like completely cripple myself over loot. In uh, Morrowind, when your weight exceeds your maximum capacity, you can't fucking move. Which is a huge deal. Being unable to move sucks completely. There is some pearl. Sadly, we cannot take scrap metals. They they are for important for quest, but I don't wanna waste any of the hammers or lose any important garbage. <sighs> yeah, we cannot uh, feed two bows. We could potentially feed one, but now after coins we have like two kilograms. From here, I probably just teleport away. It's very good because we have it out of the way. Uh, doing this quest earlier is slightly easier. Especially since, since she can solo. And creatures nearby are not strong enough to kill her. Sometimes you can lure her something like Golden Saint and it can ki kill her completely. I swear, I once lure her like two Dremoras and one Golden Saint. Uh, she died. Oh. Fighters did. This is the guy that told us to go there, 500, because she survived. And we got fucking... Uh, promotion. 